सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ द सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ओके सो बाय एंगुलर मोमेंटम आई मीन टोटल एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ दिस सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल्स सो हाउ इट इज डिफाइंड ओके सो सपोज अगेन आई हैव मेनी पार्टिकल्स लाइक दिस ओके देर आर मेनी पार्टिकल्स हियर एंड देन I have a certain coordinate system. For example, the coordinate system is like this. Okay. This is my x-axis. This is y-axis. This is z-axis, and this is our origin. And suppose I want to describe the angular momentum of one of these particle. Let's say this is the ith particle. Okay. So for ith particle. For ith particle, I will write the angular momentum as r i bar. What is r i bar? r i bar is the position vector of that um, ith particle. So I will write, draw it again properly. So the position vector will be somewhat like this. This is the position vector r i bar, and suppose it has a momentum of p i bar. so then r i bar cross p i bar will be the angular momentum for the ith particle okay now what i am doing here is that i want to see the effective angular momentum of this whole system i want to describe this whole system's angular momentum so now what i will do is that i will also define a center of mass okay so we have already seen what is a center of mass center of mass is given as summation over i m i r i r i bar divided by summation over m i okay summation over m i so this is our center of mass now we are we will describe this whole system also through this frame of reference of center of mass for example if this is somewhere here my center of mass is there let's use different color for this purpose let's use red okay so here suppose the center of mass is here let's say this is r okay center of mass so the vector describing this is r bar right and this ith particle with reference to the center of mass will be having r dash bar coordinate r dash bar position vector suppose this one okay this is not r dash bar because it is r i dash bar suppose okay this is ith particle so this is true for all other particles by the way okay this so this is i am writing it for ith particle this is ith particle now what i can do is i can apply the law of vector addition so this black vector is r i bar vector this red vector is r bar vector capital r bar which is nothing but the center of mass of this system and r i dash bar is nothing but the position vector of the ith particle as seen from the person or as seen by the person standing on the center of mass of this system so here i can write r i bar is equal to r bar plus r i dash bar okay now we will see what is the angular momentum of whole system so now angular momentum of ith particle is l i bar which is r i bar cross p i bar now if i have to find out the total angular momentum what i will do i will sum over i okay so i will sum it over i so let's go down i will sum it over i summation over i l i bar is equal to summation over i r i bar cross p i bar this is summation okay so now this is the total angular momentum l bar now r i bar can be re replaced by this vector r bar plus r i dash bar so here this is summation over i r i bar 
so instead of r i bar we are writing r bar plus r i dash bar cross p i bar now similarly for velocity okay for velocity i can write v i bar okay because p i bar is nothing but m i v i bar okay so i can write v i bar for velocity so but i am no i already know that r i bar is equal to r bar plus r i dash bar so i will differentiate this equation and after differentiating what i will get is v i bar that is velocity of the i particle plus v bar velocity of center of mass plus v i dash bar this is what i get now so this if i multiply with mi vi bar okay i am multiplying it with mi so i will get this expression so i am multiplying both side by mi so now this will be our pi bar so let's substitute it here so the total angular momentum l bar becomes summation over i r bar plus r i dash bar cross p i bar which is nothing but m i v i bar and m i v i bar if i substitute over here i will get m i v bar plus m i v i dash bar so this will be equal to summation over i so this will be r bar cross m i v bar plus r bar cross m i v i dash bar plus r i dash bar cross this so this is the summation over i right so r i dash bar cross m i v bar plus r i dash bar cross m i v i dash bar so i am taking cross product over here so this will be summation over i so here you can see in the first term only m i is present okay and there is r bar and v bar so m i is being summed over right so summation over i m i i can separate it out so i can write it like this summation over i m i separately times r bar cross v bar plus here i have to write summation over i r bar cross m i v i dash bar plus summation over i m i r i dash bar cross v bar plus summation over i r i dash bar cross m i v i dash bar so here i can write replace it by the total mass of the system okay the total mass of the system is m r bar cross v bar so the total ma mass of the system is capital m so this is m r bar cross v bar but i can as well write it like this r bar cross m v bar plus now what to do about this okay can i write it as d r i dash bar by dt of course i can write it like that so this will be summation over i r bar cross m i d r i dash bar by dt plus summation over i m i r i dash bar cross v bar plus summation over i r i dash bar cross m i v i dash bar now let's look at this term what does this term suggest us so this is this term which is summation over i r bar cross can i write it as d by dt of m i r i dash bar of course i can write so i can write it like this d by dt of m i r i dash bar summation over i okay this is summed over i but here there is no i index so i can take this summation over i inside so this will become r bar cross 
d by dt of summation over i m i r i dash bar now what is this suppose i divide it by the total mass then i again have to multiply also so this is i am multiplying so this quantity is nothing but the center of mass of the system but now here what is the catch is that the problem is that we are already working in the frame of reference of center of mass because we are describing the position of all the other particles with respect to the center of mass of the system which is this red dot over here now again if you find out the center of mass of this system again it will be the origin because you have chosen already this center of mass as the origin of this reference frame so here if i take this center of mass of whole system it will again lie at this red point which is nothing but the origin of center of mass reference frame so here this will become zero okay so this total term will become zero okay and then we will see here also here also in this term second term here let me show it see in this term again the same thing will happen if i multiply this by m and divide it by m okay i am multiplying by m over here suppose this is whole into multiplying by m suppose i am doing that then this will be the center of mass of the system but already you are taking the center of mass in the frame of reference whose origin is itself at the center of mass so then this will be given as zero vector zero bar so this will also go this will also go to zero so what remains finally is these two terms okay so this will be l bar is equal to r bar cross mv bar plus summation over i r i dash bar cross m i v i dash bar so what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this this means is means that the angular momentum of this whole system can be described as the angular momentum of whole mass okay whole mass whole system's mass okay about the center of mass system okay about the around the origin okay around your not center of mass sorry around this origin of your reference frame okay the whole system's center of mass or you can say this is nothing but the angular momentum of the center of mass about some point which is taken as origin okay so about this point this origin this center of mass angular momentum is the first term that is this term and the second term is nothing but the angular momentum of all other particles summation of all angular momentums of the particles which are about the center of mass so the angular momentum about the center of mass is this much and angular momentum of center of mass around a point is this okay so the total angular momentum is the summation of the angular momentum of the center of mass around that point plus angular momentum total angular momentum of all the particles around the center of mass so this is the way to describe the total angular momentum